what's up guys so today's video is going to be a get ready with me and I'm going to be showing you guys the new Too Faced peaches and cream collection so I am so so excited to be a part of this whole thing and get to show you guys all the new products because a few months ago if you guys know I went and I actually shot a lot of the stuff for the new peaches and cream collection and I got to like play with all the products before they came out so it's so crazy to be able to work with Too Faced because Too Faced was actually the very first makeup brand that I ever ever bought like at Sephora like on my own I bought the natural eye eyeshadow palette and it was the first like thing that I bought at Sephora on my own to even like have them send me items and like get to shoot for them and like show you guys like how to use their new products is so awesome because I absolutely love everyone at Too Faced. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media to keep updated with what I'm doing because I am back in Arizona. I am at college again. Um, so if you guys want to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing out here in the desert of Arizona, you guys can uh, go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. So uh, without me talking anymore, let's get into the video. I am so excited to be filming this video like literally I got the package today and I was like I cannot wait to film like I actually have to film today so I'm super excited to show you guys all this new stuff so the first thing I'm going to be using is the primed and peachy cooling matte skin perfecting primer so this is amazing so I was gonna honestly do like a first impressions of this video um, but then I remembered like I did the whole shoot for this in the beginning of summer so I was like it's not a first impressions I've used it before um, cause I like smelt all the stuff and like got to play with it all when I did the Too Faced shoot. Um, but this is it. Here it is. It's cute and peachy. So I'm just gonna prime my face with this. It honestly feels so moisturizing on my skin. But at the same time, it's mattifying, which I think is a really, really cool concept. I always, always love moisturizers and, uh, primers that do that. I just think it's awesome. So... I love this and obviously everything smells like peach like it's literally like a dream come true to have your makeup smell like peach okay so I'm honestly not sure what skin tone I am because I don't have any spray tan on right now and normally I'm natural beige but that is obviously a little too dark for me so I'm either warm nude or I'm nude I think I'm gonna go with nude because I'd rather be like too light and bronze it up than too dark and like add a lot of concealer you know what I mean so we're gonna use everything's literally still in the package so this is the peach perfect comfort matte foundation so if you guys love the born this way foundation which I absolutely love the born this way foundation I wear it almost every single day um, that one is a more luminous coverage and it's also more medium to full but this one is actually a matte foundation which I think is awesome especially because I live in Arizona and it is literally so hot I'm sweating all day I want matte foundation now um, I don't really want luminous foundation it just depends on my mood but I absolutely love this so I'm gonna pump this I really really hope this is my color because I honestly don't know it's actually a really good color for me it looks almost like a little bit dark like I could go almost lighter but I think it'll work I mean I have a lighter color should I do a lighter color next shade down from this one is vanilla and I honestly don't know if I'm vanilla like I don't think I'm that light but let me just let me just try it out I like used this foundation so long ago that I forgot how it was and I am so excited every time I film in front of a window um it always makes my neck and my face like not look like it match but I promise in real life it does match it's just so annoying on camera um but yeah I like how this foundation turned out also, I'm really not sure if this setup right here where I'm filming is going to stay the setup all year. I'm just like testing it out for my first video. Um, but I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyes. I have a pimple on my chin. Actually, I have a lot of pimples on my chin. And I don't want them here anymore. So I literally just put so much concealer on my chin. But it's fine. I literally look like tribal woman it's great okay now that that's done i'm going to go in with this nyx wonder stick and i lightly lightly contour so i'm gonna do just a little along here i honestly am not very good at contouring but i just like to cream contour i cream contour every day literally guys this is probably one of the best foundations i have ever used like i've never seen my skin look more flawless like it's just so perfectly matte right now like it literally looks like I set my face with powder I'm not even joking with you guys 
this next product by Too Faced. This is the translucent, translucent, translucent um, smoothing finish powder. This is probably what I am most excited about out of this whole collection because I have never been like more shocked in my life at a product. Like, actually, no. When I show you the blushes, you'll be like shook. But they use this. I like use this on set, and it was so amazing. Like, I set my under eyes with this powder and i'm telling you right now it literally blurs everything like i wish you guys could see on camera but i don't even think it's picking it up that i look like flawless does that make sense this is a really good way to describe this you know on like facetune or like photoshop when you take the smoothing thing and you smooth out your whole face that's like what this does but in real life like it literally blurs everything like bye i'm gonna go in with the mattifying loose setting powder because they do have a new setting powder i'm literally taking everything out of the packages and i just want to set my face because i mean i know my face is matte but like i always set my face i actually ran out of my anastasia um brow whiz and so i found this in my drawer it's eyler this is the it's just like another uh brow pomade and it works really really good it is in the shade blonde yeah blonde so i'm now going to set my brows with the ready set brow this is actually from european wax center that's where i get my eyebrows wax i got them waxed today so they're like super fleeky like thank god they are not a rat's nest because they were so bad this morning like i walked in there and i was like i am so sorry that you're having to wax these like this is embarrassing but there they are oh, this is the just peachy matte this is the velvet matte eyeshadow palette by Too faced this is also in their peaches and cream collection so this palette is actually so bomb i also love the packaging like it's heavy it feels really sturdy also the mirror is really big on this like what an amazing beautiful product so there are one two three four seven eight, twelve different shades in here um and i think they're perfect for any kind of look you're wanting to do whether you want to do a really peachy look because they do have this one they have just peachy they have peach punch they have fresh picked peaches and cream they have those shades but they also have really pretty neutrals the peach tart and the peach cobbler like these three up here beautiful for like a nude eye so i'm kind of i like the shirt that i'm wearing um i wanted to try and do a peachy look but i kind of am feeling like a brown like smokier kind of look um so let's see what we go for today this is the fresh picked color right here it's like a peachy nude color i don't know it looks really pretty i'm really about this i kind of want to add a more pink color so i'm gonna go in with this just peachy and I'm going to put it closer to the brow, like right at the top of where I put that other color, just to make it like a little more corally. Okay, so for all over the lid, I mixed peach tea and peach cobbler, which are these two shades right here. And it actually looks really, really pretty. It almost looks like coppery, which I really, really actually love. I'm actually going to mimic that um, on the bottom. So I'm just going to go back in with peach cobbler and peach tea. And I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm actually going to go in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Like the first one that they, I just hit myself in the face with it. Cool, cool. It's fine. I'm fine. Um, I'm going to go in with this. And I love Nectar. And this isn't even just because I'm like doing this whole Too Faced video. Anytime I'm using a different eyeshadow palette. But I want to do a highlight on the brow and the inner corner. I always take this palette out and use Nectar. I think it's the best like brow bone shade. And like such a good highlighting shade so i'm gonna put this there and on the inner corner and i'm gonna go in with black eyeliner this is actually by clinique this is a pretty easy liquid eyelining pen and i've been using this recently i stopped using it for a while because i stopped using black eyeliner but i'm back into it so i don't know why but i really want to go back in with this color right here it's more purpley it's called just ripe and for some reason i kind of want this in the outer corner going in i feel like my eyeshadow just needed like a little something and this is like the prettiest shade ever and it blends really easy like it looks purple in the palette but like it doesn't look that purple on the eyes like it blends 
Okay, so now I'm going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because what other mascara would I use? Like, honestly. My lashes were basically invisible before I just put this mascara on. Oh my god, don't you hate when you go to put your mascara in the tube and you miss the tube and then you just get black mascara everywhere because it's the same. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer. So this is... The bronzer, I honestly don't remember using this for the shoot, so I'm very excited to actually test this out, but it's called Sweetie Pie. Like, how freaking cute is that? And look at it. It looks so, so pretty. Um, so I'm going to go in with this. I normally, like, I haven't been hard toward, like, contouring much, so I'm just going to go in with this Sephora brush. Oh, that's a really pretty shade. Like, that's good for my skin. I thought it was going to be, like, too dark because I don't have a spray tan right now. But that's actually a good shade for me. Like, if I did oh too much, it might be it might be almost overboard. But that's really pretty. Okay. I see you, sweetie pie. Okay, guys. This is the most exciting thing that I think I'm going to show you guys. I keep saying that about every product. I'm not even kidding. I'm genuinely so excited to be sharing all this stuff with you. Also, there's not a fire in my room. That's a candle. That's a... Yeah, that's a candle. Also, in case you're wondering, that's Brandon Wolfell's book. And there's a candle next to it. Like, get it? Like, it's like, because he's so, like, lit. All that. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Moving on. That was a joke. That was a bad joke. <laughs> so, what's really cool about these is that they are melting powder blushes. So, first of all, look at the packaging. Stop. It's a freaking peach. And each little leaf is, like, the color of the shade. So, what these are, I'm trying to, like... I'm trying to explain this to you, but you guys honestly just have to buy it to get it. You guys can see it looks like chapstick. Like it looks like it has that glossy texture, which it does. So when you guys are, when you touch it like this, it feels like an EOS ball. You know what I'm saying? But like watch when I put it on my skin, like it turns into powder. Does that make sense to you guys? Like I'm going to rub my finger on this. I'm rubbing my finger a lot, like a lot, a lot. So you would think when I put this on my face, it's going to be like a big mark, but watch. It turns into powder. Like, it's powder. It's gone. It's literally, it's so cool, guys. I've never been more shook in my life, honestly. Okay, so now for highlight, I'm going in with this Glossier, Glossier, whatever, Haloscopic. I don't, I never know how to say their name. I don't want to mess it up, but I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to lightly put it on this stick. It honestly gives you such a natural glow, so I'm gonna put it on my cheekbones. Honestly, you can also go just directly on the face, but I always like get scared I'm gonna put too much, so I like to blend it out with my finger or something like that. I was watching, I don't know whose it was, I think it was Desi's and Kim Kardashian's makeup tutorial, but she was saying she like puts highlight here on the center of her forehead where most people would set their face, and she said like, it adds so much more and she also does her chin so of course if Kim Kardashian tells me to do something I'm going to do it so now I put highlighter right here and on my chin <laughs> I'm going in with the spice lip liner because I thought that I lost it in my moving to Arizona but I found it so we're back on board people so the peaches and cream also actually has three different lip colors so these are the peach kiss they are moisture matte longwear lipsticks um, so there's three shades. This one is like a more berry shade. This one is more brown and this is like a really pretty nude. So I think I'm going to go with the nude because I'm not like, I don't branch out that much. So this shade is called Doll Face. This is how cute the little container is. Um, also what's really cool is that these lipsticks, when you like to twist, I can't talk today, twist them up. They have peaches like all over the lipstick, which, duh. I'm actually very impressed. Like this is they smell good too. This is very like moisture matte. Like I was thinking it was just going to be like matte even though it says moisture matte. But it's like very creamy. Wow. I really like that. And lastly, if you guys know Too Faced, they actually just came out with like the hangover uh, setting spray. But they used this on me on set and I was like, I'm dying. I want this now. I wanted it so bad. Like I didn't want to have to wait months for it. But this is the Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. So this is a setting spray that actually helps keep it matte. It doesn't make you look oily and really, really wet. It like helps so, so much. And it smells like peaches. So like obviously. So I'm going to set my face with this really quickly. So guys, this is the final look. I actually really like the way this looks. I'm actually like 
really really happy because now I can go out and my makeup's gonna look bomb it looks like so natural but also it looks like you know what you're doing with makeup if that makes sense because a lot of times when I try to go for a more natural look I try to use like minimum product because I think that that makes me look more natural but sometimes makeup like this like a matte foundation and blurring powder can really really help you achieve a more natural look but also like the contour and the eyeshadow makes you look like you know what you're doing which I think is really awesome so I actually really really love this so I will link everything down below please go check out Too Faced I'm so excited to be even like a part part of this whole like thing that they're doing because it's so amazing I absolutely love the peaches and cream collection it comes out August 31st so you guys can go get it I will link everything down below go follow them on their social media follow me on my social media if you guys liked this video give it a big thumbs up I know the videos are a little bit low right now just because I'm back at college and like doing schoolwork again is like going to throw me off a lot but I'm really excited to upload volume here so I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you guys next week bye